Hello, St. John's, Father Carlson here, and just want to tell you a little bit of what's going on this upcoming week. Of course, we know uh, starting on Saturday night, Sunday morning, we begin Holy Week here, and every small Catholic church around the world as well. How does Holy Week begin? Of course, it would be uh, Palm Sunday. So this year, we're going to start Palm Sunday once again in the gathering places you come in. We're going to have all the tables removed because we're actually going to have the gospel read there, and we're going to process in kind of that triumphant procession holding our blessed palms. So that's this Sunday, which begins Holy Week. So what happens What happens here at St. John's uh, during Holy Week? A couple of different liturgies I want to kind of draw your attention to. On Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're going to have morning prayer. So morning prayer at 9 a.m. One of the booklets for you. It's a beautiful way uh, to kind of pray the, the prayer of the universal uh, church. So that's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 9 a.m. On Saturday, at the end of morning prayer, so right around 9.15, give or take a couple minutes there, we're going to have the blessing of the Easter basket. So it's kind of a tradition for people to have that, that Easter food blessed. So bring some, some food with to be blessed. I know many years I could smell the sausage during morning prayer. It makes me really hungry for uh, Easter morning. Of course, we have a couple different liturgies that start the tritium. The first one is Thursday night, so Holy Thursday, the Mass of the Lord's Supper. That's going to be at 7 p.m. This is where we wash the feet of certain parishioners. We also kind of have that, that Mass of, of the Last Supper of the Eucharist. So it's a very special high Mass. At the end of the Mass, we're going to process to the gathering place where we'll have adoration of the Blessed Sacrament from about 8.30 until 11 p.m. At 11 p.m., we'll have night prayer. And then it will repose the Blessed Sacrament. Good Friday, of course, will be the veneration of the cross. And that's at 3 p.m., the hour of Jesus' death after his passion. And then, of course, on Saturday, we have the Easter Vigil Mass. That's going to begin at 8 p.m. with the blazing fire outside. This year, we're actually having a baptism of adults, so a full immersion in our beautiful baptismal font. And then five other parishioners coming into the, the Catholic faith. So that's at 8 p.m. on Saturday. And of course, Easter morning, we have Masses at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. I'm aware that many schools have spring break starting uh, kind of on Good Friday. And that's, that's beautiful, that's great. But if all possible, stick around here. Come to Mass here, come to the liturgies here. But if you are traveling, make sure to go to Mass, most especially on Easter, or even the, the Easter Vigil Mass, wherever you're traveling as well. So. Just want to kind of highlight the things going on here for Holy Week. Of course, it's an opportunity to grow more in love with the Lord. And just let him really share his love with us. Hope to see you very soon. God bless.